that holiness is not a suggestion. It is not a request. God is not requesting us to be holy. He's not saying to us, please be holy. No. It is not a suggestion. Holiness is a command. It's a mandate from God. It is part of our identity as followers of Jesus. Part of our DNA. If we look at a parent and a child, a parent gives birth to a child and that child shares, what, 90% of the parent's DNA and even the likeness and the traits of the parent. You can look at the parent and the child and say, no, this child belongs to this parent. Because they share a similarity. They share a DNA. There's something about them that connects them. They behave in similar ways. They look in similar ways. So also, as children of God, people must be able to look at our lives and see the link between us and the Jesus that we profess. In John 8.44, we see an interesting thing, that the opposite is also true. Jesus speaking to the Pharisees, and as with the seas, um, he rebukes them. And he says to them <clears throat> that they are children of their father, the devil. John 8, 44. He tells them, he says here, yeah, this is just speaking, he says, in fact, let's start from 42. Jesus said to them, if God were your father, you would love me. For well, I have not come here from God. But I have come here from God. I have not come here on my own. Let me repeat that. If God were your father, you would love me. Now, this is Jesus speaking to the Pharisees. If God were your father, you would love me. For I have not come here from, for I have come here from God. I have not come here on my own. God sent me. Why is my language not clear to you? Because you are unable to hear what I say. Verse 44, he says to them, he says, you belong to your father, the devil. And you want to carry out your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, for, where, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language, for he's a liar and the father of lies. So Christ is telling the Pharisees, he's saying, listen, you don't understand me, you don't hear me, because you can't connect with me. You're not a child of God. You're a child of the devil. It makes it very clear. He makes it very clear because he's saying to us, those who know him will hear his voice. Those who know Christ will hear his voice. They will heed his voice. They will come to him. But those who do not know him will not heed his voice. And that's why the Bible tells us that the things of God are foolishness to those who are perishing. The things of God are foolishness. They sound foolish to those who are perishing, to those of the world. In the Old Testament, we see that God 